We got Uncle Rico with us, Adam Henrique. Dude, thank you so much for hopping on the TV. We appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me. All right, you got a sweet social media presence. You ready to check out some of your top posts? Yeah, may as well. First one. Yankee Stadium. Yeah, that you know what? That's a, that's quite a throwback, actually. It uh, doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but uh, to play the outdoor game at Yankee Stadium was was pretty special. Probably one of the highlights uh, throughout my career. And you were actually at a Yankees game like days before the press release even came out, right? Yeah, we got to we got to spend some time there, check it out. Um, so to see them uh, be able to put the, I mean, they've done it year in year out after after that, but um, to go there and play was was pretty special, especially at Yankee Stadium. What do you remember most about it? Because I remember it was freezing that weekend, and, and the, the stadium it, was filled. It was it was it was freezing there. It had a lot of family in town. They had to spend a lot of time out in the cold, but. Um, we, we actually got to, to use the Yankee dressing room, so that was pretty neat. Um, and I think I think A-Rod actually signed, uh, signed a baseball bat for uh, Yager, too, so that was pretty cool. Wow, all right. So here you are, speaking of baseball bats. That was a home swing, run. Man. You look that was good. a home run. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. You can make it look good on social media. So I don't know if that ball left the, the yard there or not, but uh, I think that was a charity game. Uh, back in Windsor, Ontario, where, where I played junior, so that, that was that was a good time. Catch up with a lot of the boys I used to play with in Windsor, and, and a lot of, spent a lot of time there. Awesome, and we did actually find your swing in the tag <laughs> post of you. Looks good from the left side of the plate. I feel like I'm athletic enough that the swing can, I, like, I could play. I could play. I don't think I'd be a home run hitter, be a you know single, double kind of guy, but steal um, some bases. Absolutely. You're fast, dude. Well, I was fast at one point. <laughs> I don't know if I got the speed anymore to steal bases. But. <laughs> Uh, going out there was a lot of fun, and then you know we've done it year in year out. Got to meet Mike Trout, uh, Shohei Otani, those guys with the Angels. So it's always a fun night. Uh, usually before the season gets started, head over to Angel Stadium. He's a big dude. Imagine if you guys were in the lineup together, oh. you'd be the two hitter, him in the third, three hole. I would agree. I would agree. Yeah, <laughs> and you got a chance to also meet too Shohei Otani, like literally one of the best baseball players in the world. What was that experience like for you? Uh, pretty cool. Um, you know, for him coming over there and playing. Literally across the street from, from our rink, uh, getting to some Angel games, seeing those guys play. Um, always pretty cool to see some of the best athletes in the world play. You can say that again. And the jersey that he was rocking is one yeah. that you guys obviously do with the Ducks. Dude, yeah. this is a sweet look, man. And you've got the stash going. Yeah, the stash is key, I think, for these throwback jerseys. <laughs> but um, you know what? I think the Ducks honestly have some of the best third jerseys and throwback jerseys in the league. So anytime we get to, to wear those, it's, it's always a fun time. Dude, and so good that you even got the dogs some too. Oh yeah, the dogs. Well, they they kind of run the household. They they have since we got them, so they uh, they're good sports when we uh, the wife dresses them up. But it's a lot of fun at home. Amazing, and also at home you have some jerseys yourself. I uh, collected a few jerseys uh, a few years back. I thought those were some pretty cool names and, and some throwbacks that uh, were pretty neat jerseys uh, throughout the NHL uh, history of jerseys. Did you get anything from the stadium series or like any Yankees related stuff? from the times that you've been in the Bronx? I stole a ball, that's nice. about it. All right, I was too you young go. to get anything signed back then. The, the older guys got everything. I think these guys are practicing it out here right now. The, that the same Henry. thing? <laughs> Zegers was in the crowd crying that night. He was a Rangers fan, so. That's right, a local guy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah but he's a Ranger. He's cheering for the Rangers. Z, it's right here in the post, bud. Right in the corner. It's over! Yeah, you remember this one? <laughs> <laughs> he was in the nosebleeds. And this one is probably one that you probably get asked about all the time, at least the autograph picture, Yeah, right? oh yeah, yeah. It, it's, uh, I mean, that's special, man. That was uh, the best goal of my career. Um, happened here, um, you know, and kind of everything in that year that, that, that ended up being, and, uh, you know, we came up just short after that, but uh, to get that goal to send us to the Stanley Cup Finals was awesome. Dude, <laughs> talk about a sweet, unique item you got, huh? Just a bobblehead. That's at home. Pretty that, big. that was in the Burford Parade years ago. My dad got it on the float there, so uh, still got that thing kicking at home, which is uh, pretty funny. But that uh, that was a fun time around here when we got those going. Can you imagine if they did this as the bobblehead, a little throwback <laughs> action? That's like my. I guess I have to get the frosted tips going on it next time. And right here, we talked about stuff that was being made before. A fan did this artwork for you, and the goal looks so cool. Like when you saw well, this, like yeah. what was your? That uh, I don't know how people do that kind of stuff and draw. And I, I'm not uh, that artistic, but pretty special. That was a, that was honestly one of one of uh, finer moments in my career too. A couple of weeks after I got traded, coming back here and scoring was was pretty cool. It was an emotional night, but a lot of fun to come back and, and play here. So a lot of great memories in this building. Drivers, start your engines. Dude, 
big into the race cars. Yeah, you know Love what? It. We've gotten the, the, I've got to ride in the Indy car a few times now. It's a lot of fun. Um, big NASCAR fan, big race fan. So anytime we get to get in the car and, and, and go race and I got to do the, uh, Nitro Circus electric uh, car guys uh, with Pastrana and, and them, so that was a lot of fun too. Anytime you get in a race car with somebody, a lot of fun. All right, so here you are. You love to give back. You're always out in the community. The fans love you, and, and this is just one of the special things that you do to give back. Yeah, uh, me and Brandon Montour uh, from back home uh, have teamed up to do a charity golf tournament the last few years, and it's been very successful. Um, fortunately enough, a lot, of, a lot of hockey guys have come out to support us. Uh, Kevin Bex is here on this one and, and a lot of Monty's teammates and, and guys from around home, which is always special. So that's uh, it's been a, certainly something I'm, I'm proud of. I know he is as well. All right, and something that you're very proud of and something that's very special too. Yeah. The baby. <laughs> yeah, the little one. She's, you know what, she's busy, man. She's busy. Just turned one uh, not too long ago. Uh, we got a second one on the way, so, you know, life uh, changes quick all of a sudden. But um, it's so much fun going home and seeing her, especially after road trips and just playing and having fun. She keeps me on my toes, man. Yeah, and you do a great job documenting your entire career and the stuff that you're doing off the ice as well, too. So when it does come to the social media side of things, how much do you enjoy sharing all these videos and photos? Well, it's great. I think I think it's such a great tool to be able to, you know, promote yourself, promote the things that you're doing, that you care about, that are, that are close to your heart. Um, whatever they may be away from hockey. You know, obviously the hockey stuff is a, is a lot of fun to get out there as well. And <clears throat> we have great fans and great fan support, um, you know, in New Jersey for me and in Anaheim and, and everywhere in between family and, and just try to promote, uh, you know, charity events like we, we do um, away from hockey as well that mean a lot for, for back home too. So I think it's such a great tool to be able to reach a lot of people and, and, and get things out there and, and kind of show more what we're about. All right, well, now is the time for the plug. Where should everybody go to follow Uncle Rico to get more of you, and why should they follow you? Oh, Adam Henry, 14. <laughs> just get on there. It's a lot of fun. We, we keep things uh, pretty light and, uh, and try to just have fun with it. All right, man. Well, we can't wait, brother. Thank you.